Hi, good morning and welcome to today's products in focus. Now, uh, Greece deal looks uh, increasingly likely as the hand in the list of reforms at 12 a.m. this morning. Uh, still not been approved by the Eurozone leaders, but they have made a commitment to uh, a, a number of factors that should um, help them tackle uh, their debt crisis. I'll, I'll be, it has not been approved as of yet, but everything seems to be um, relatively uh, straightforward. Now, Euro dollar is not reacting uh, in either direction right now, so I think we're just waiting to get more clarity from uh, from some of the Eurozone leaders if this is going to be enough uh, to get them their four-month extension. But um, the US 30 is on the right side of potential uh, resistance at 1811.9. Um, a slight little baby hammer formation last night, positive ter ter territory today, um, but we're not expecting to see too much directional movement on the American markets until after Janet Yellen's um, session today at 3 p.m. UK time, and uh, the question will be if she's going to have a sim if she's going to dodge questions over the US, US economy and rates, or if she's going to have she's going to be on the same page as the Fed, or if she's going to be singing from a different hymn sheet in regards to a potential US rate hike coming in June or later. So many traders waiting for that. Now the US dollar is looking like it is reacting to the fact that Yellen's more going to be more. Um, bullish on, on interest rates in the US than what um, the rest of the Fed members were, but we'll have to wait to see 3 o'clock for that. So moving on to the UK 100, uh, not such a great day yesterday, uh, HSPC weighing heavily on the UK 100, we reversed back down to potential uh, broken so resistance now acting as support at 6906.8. Uh, it's not had a great start this morning either, actually. It's tried to push up higher than pushed up back down. In fact, we're on the wrong side of that level just right now as we speak. So um, if we get further weakness in the UK 100, that technical breakout looks to be in jeopardy. Um, Japan to do five as dollar yen smashes through one, well, it's not smashed through 120 yet, but it's getting closer and closer there. Um, the Japan to do five is accelerating on. Uh, its next uh, resistance level is actually quite a good bit higher. It's above 19,000 anyway. I'll need to redraw that back on. Well, I just select a monthly interval for a quick second. Try and find, you can just see on the monthly chart there where those breaks are, actually are. Uh, I've got to go some time back actually to find the next potential level, which is probably the tip here. So around about 8.648, and then after that, it's, well, all the way up here so that would be significant uh, 20 thousand uh, eight nine uh, six eight sorry so that'd be a good bit further away uh, in that regard so actually jumping back on to the daily charts let's see how far we are so we're actually quite close to that short term at uh, potential resistance level that we had there um, this is a 15 year high in Japan 55 and then after that you've got a big leap before you reach the next potential resistance level on there so Quite an interesting um, place, Japan 25 right now. So looking at dollar yen, it is advancing higher this morning, but it's still bouncing around about this one 119 level. We need a decent break in one direction or the other. There's not much else to, to talk about in that in that FX pair for now. So crude oil West Texas came off again yesterday. There's reports later on in the day that OPEC was going to hold an emergency meeting to talk about the sliding oil price. It's down about three and a half percent yesterday. It's down about another percent today. Uh, that's us trading at forty eight dollars forty two cents. Longer term potential uh, support is at the bottom of this uh, area right here. So we are pretty much at forty three spot thirty. Um, for that longer term potential support on West Texas crude. So gold will not be benefiting from Janet Yellen's speech today unless she is incredibly dovish, in which case you could see a reversal in gold. If she's even slightly more pragmatic than the rest of the Fed in regards to uh, US rates and the state of the economy, then gold will continue to feel the pain. Um, very volatile session actually yesterday look, looking at the candle formation for gold. This is a, a spinning doji formation right here, drifting lower again today, 11. 86 is the next potential support level. So finishing up with Euro dollar and GBP USD, Euro dollar drifting lower, hopefully breaking out of the symmetrical triangle formation, which I'm just actually just going to redraw now to see if this can. It's a bit of a tougher sell, but you can actually squeeze that one out, and that still looks like an asymmetrical triangle formation, still waiting for a break one direction, with a lower break opening up and move towards one spot 11. Um, obviously, we need to hear more about those potential Greek reforms and if it's going to be enough. I'd be surprised if it is actually enough, incidentally, so there might be 
an instance where they ask Greece to go back and think again. Usually they like to play hardball in these particular instances, so we'll see if that pans out. And Cable actually moving nicely in the right direction. Uh, right side of one spot 54-24, iron up one spot 56. Um, so we'll see if uh, Cable is actually able to retain uh, its head above one spot 54-24. So economic data wise, there's a whole raft of European data. You've got Eurozone CPI uh, and you have uh, CCI from the US. And obviously at 3 p.m. today, Janet Yellen testifying um, about the economy. So that's going to be an important one. Tomorrow we've got Chinese PMI, the China data becoming ever more important as time goes on. And obviously you do have those crude oil inventories, which will be very important considering the last you know, seven weeks uh, it's had a major impact on West Texas crude prices. And uh, tomorrow might be no different. And then Thursday, you've got a raft of German data, you've got retail sales and consumer confidence, and um, UK GDP. And then you've also got durable goods, CPI, and employment data. So Thursday, actually, a whole raft of data, a very important day um, for the uh, for, uh, macro fundamentals. So as ever, keep your eye on the chart forum, make insights part of your layout going forward, and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.